welcome. Got the got the new setup happening, which is sort of cool. No more no more little square. It's like Pretty cool. I actually started using um, virtual backgrounds uh, at work for my Zoom meetings because you know, apocalypse and everything is is via computer now. And uh, I actually was thinking like, there's got to be some kind of technology to get rid of this background without using a green screen, just like Zoom does. Because if Zoom has it, then surely other things have it. And then sure enough, T-Bone came up with this. So, yeah. Uh, he had the thought independently, which was kind of cool. So, um, it is a new day, a new standard. Rotation happened, in case y'all didn't know. And uh, I did prepare for this, and I do still have some standard decks. I've even been leveling up. Um... I've been doing standard ranked um, with a variation of my Doom Foretold deck. That said, I've reached Platinum 2, and so I'm kind of scared to play some more standard ranked, but we'll give it a try. We're gonna try. It's early in the morning, maybe it won't be so bad. I swear, it's easier to attain rank earlier in the morning for some reason. Like the good players are asleep still or something. Not totally sure how that works. But we're gonna do a little bit of warm up. Um, and then probably gonna do a sealed. I'm excited. Oh, uh, this is an okay hand. We'll keep this. Super annoying now is the companion text is larger, which makes it difficult to get your leftmost card. In but you know, we make do. I'm gonna do a temple of the also, the Conqueror's Death is good in a situation. I know this is a red deck, but still. It can get rid of a Torbran. There's a lot of ways to get rid of it. Whoop, whoop, they're gonna get it. Hi. A board wipe, we take those. No black yet. I can I can get out Doom Foretold with the golden egg, but then I won't have anything else out to sack, which is not what you want. It still might be worth it. Oh. Actually be a better use of mana to use the golden egg to uh, to use the golden egg to be in life. Um, do I think I'm going to die? I think dying may be a possibility, so I'm not going to put your on in hand. I'm going to leave golden egg open to potentially sacrifice it. So I don't super care. I, I really need a black source. That might be that. Nope, I live, but I'm gonna be dead next turn. Unless I top deck a nope. I, I was gonna say I could top deck a uh, Shadow of the Sky, but no, I have the uh, five drop board wipe. So um, is there any- there actually is still a way I can live. Potentially. If they don't have any other creatures in hand, which is a big frickin' if. But we're not giving up yet. Let's 
Let's see if we can make it. I think that's death. I think that's exactly full. It is. Oh wait, and these buff each other anyway. Oh yeah, I was super dead. I was super, dead. super duper dead. I was gonna take this out of combat and then they can't really go through with even instant speed, but yeah, they they had enough to go even without that Phoenix out of That's why I didn't wanna play ranked anymore. I don't wanna lose my plat tier two, man. I don't wanna lose it. That was like my one little bit of wiggle room. So we're just gonna hop into play queue. Um, I've been using this approach of the uh, Second Sun Historic deck that I've been enjoying a lot. See, Shadow Sky, where were you? I mean, this is different deck, but where were you? One thing that's very fun about this is that if you get a trial mount, these come in untapped. It's so good. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we could be seeing the uh, thingamajig. God hand. Or split an angel turn three? I have a deck that does this, so. Yep. The God hand. Yep, so we're going to shut that down because no. They get two spirits, but that's a lot better than, like, the ten damage that was going to be coming at us, so. For sure, for sure. Oh, excellent. Absolutely excellent. Um, Alright, no land, so we're going to Smothering Tithe in the hope that they'll give us a treasure and then we can Cleansing Nova. The idea here with this deck is that I need to stabilize, get them to a point where they don't have much hand size. Ooh, they did not. They paid. That's... All right, so now we're kind of depending on a, uh, on a land draw. We're not necessarily dead if we don't get a land this turn, but it's not looking good. Okay. Uh, I will play this because it's the only thing I can play. And we hope that we top deck a land. That comes in untapped. It can't be a triome. Otherwise, we are probably dead. They are just seven this turn along. That also works. We will take that. We will take that. No bishop this time, so no spirits hanging around, and we actually did get the land. So that helps. I need to start getting my life gain online. This is, this is, the life total's getting a little low for comfort.
next turn, depending on the situation, I can either just cast Approach, or I can Board Wipe. Hey, Super Base! Yes, the client is actually working! I actually got working yesterday, but, um, yeah, that first day? No. That first- what is this card? Huh. Um... Okay. I can't counter, so I think the right move here is just to cast Approach. Yeah, exactly. And then, assuming I survive this turn, we should get the win. Because they don't have counters. Uh-oh. Oh wait, it is summoning sickness. We should still be good. But we got it. We got it. So no big deal. But yeah, they were gonna win next turn if I didn't have that second approach. I was lucky I had two in hand. Yup. I did have Cleansing Nova. Yeah, I just figured it was safer to do Second Sun because even if they did have mana untapped, in white-red they'd be more likely to have your field is indestructible versus like counter target spell. <laughs> So, I have had an approach countered before, which made me very sad. It was against a, a blue player. So, I have reached um, Platinum Rank 2 in, uh, in Standard. So, now I stop playing Ranked Standard until, <laughs> until uh, the uh, change of the season. <laughs> This actually is not a smart keep. I have no white. There we go. Hmm. Ooh, I like a good fight. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. You like new Jace? I haven't gotten to experience any of the new cards, really. Ooh, what do I want? Do I want Narset, or do I want Smothering Tithe? I want Narset. Because she can actually exile my... Victory uh, is just tokens, another puzzle which I do to be like. Enlightenment begins within. Nobody can get them out of packs. Is he a box topper? I will meditate on defeat. Oh, they're set. I'm sorry. Was that you? <laughs> I had guild business time. to attend to anyway. The cards from packs were literally disappearing. That's amazing. Ooh! 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 Sorry, I'm just like, I hope what, is, I'll be what is happening? Just you wait. They're just like, exile everything. Um, well, I'm the Sunbirds. And then hope I can cast things. and hope they don't have more Mortifies. Otherwise, what am I sitting here doing? You name it, it went wrong at launch. Oh yeah, I mean, I couldn't even get in. There was a black screen. I hope you said And they were like, we're on. hoping there's not gonna be any downtime. And I'm like, really? Really? Ooh. What do we want 
want to discard. I'm going to discard you because I'm probably not going to be able to play that for a while. Cool. Luckily, I don't have creatures. <laughs> there are actually no creatures in this deck. Zero. Be gone. I'm gone for now, but not forever. I think that they may have creatures at some point, that's why. Um, I'm gonna try and get into a land. Um, I'm just gonna decline. But I don't have the white to do it. I mean, I guess you could argue I might draw into a white at some point, but... Yeah. I'm gonna make myself scarce. And there's the second white. Yeah, you're probably right. It's alright though. I'm gonna do approach. Oh, I win. I double win? No, I just regular win. I was like, am I gonna mill them out incidentally? Oh, that was nice. Oh, look, it's the visual bug. So, fun fact, I am in play queue right now. I'm not in ranked, but this is showing up. It just shows up whatever your last rank animation was if you were in ranked and then in play queue. I actually just read about that on Reddit right before. So, you know, just fun times. But just to remind everybody that I'm in plat too. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Yes! Now all of these check lands come in untapped. It's so beautiful. I don't even have pain lands in this deck. I'm just like, it comes in untapped. La 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 la. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make all of the historic mana pieces that I can. Just like T-Bone is required to remind people that you are 98.8% unkillable if you're on a sustained tank in Heroes. I don't know what that means. the dumbest dives and you're like, nah, it's fine. Actually, there might still be counter. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, he could negate. Ooh! Ooh! Waste that turn. Waste that turn. Do you want to see new- Oh, basically a tank who can kill themselves. The dumbest dives and you're like, nah, it's fine. It's all good. Try again. Let's see what we got. Now we got a counter? Thank you. 
One thing that I've not done in this deck yet, but which is certainly possible, I have not yet decked myself with this deck accidentally. He's gonna throw Oro down. He's gonna get the draw anyway on the next turn, because I have to sweep again. But it's better to give him the draw later, so that he can't potentially, you know, draw into a counter for that second sweeper. Alright, here's hoping those two cards are not counter. Otherwise, I am le dead. Le dead! I mean, he's Simic. It's too bad I don't have a Revitalize right now. That would actually save me if I had a Revitalize in hand. Oh well. volume is like a tiny bit too loud. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna turn down the computer volume, that's easiest. There we go. You'd also cut the volume down? Okay. Let me see. We're gonna go to audio. Gonna reduce the sound effects. It's not like it's a game where you really need the volume in order to do the plays, you know? Thinking about this hard, I'm gonna mulligan. That's a lot better. Keep bottom sunbirds. Remember how long it took us to get quality settings? Uh, I don't, but I do remember the stupid particles and things that they did eventually fix. Now look, it's it's so few. It's much nicer. They're not they're not just intent on hurting me anymore. Okay. I'll go get an island. Why don't I have islands? Oh well, uh, I will get a plains. I must have too few um, blue in the deck. But that's cool. I'm just gonna play Tef's Tutelage now. Uh, we'll drop the Fire Prophecy. Because right now they're kind of looking like removal trap. Oh no, they do have something! Oh, now I feel really dumb for dropping that. Oh shoot. Alright, well, I'm gonna do Whirlwind of Thought. And we're gonna start drawing like crazy. 
Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I do not know what that is. battler genre um not hugely like i i know of it i guess i'll just wait since i got my land drop Game. You play cards, build up your board, uh, spend gold to try to buy cards off the offered cards or re rolling. This feels very dangerous, Milling Golgari, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're committed. <laughs> out anymore, so is there actually a point? Anybody want to warm up for the tourney? Yeah, I could just shatter him. I'm gonna shatter him. He can get him back, but it'll be summoning, summoning sick. Uh, I'm gonna drop another tide. Increase the tax. Loser takes damage based on the winner's surviving board, and boards regenerate, then you do it again. Ooh! Immortal Sun! Okay. actually be a good idea, because I don't want to accidentally deck myself. Um... that mean? You can only get creatures back from the grave. Alright, I'll 
Don't double down. It's probably just a bot, a cat. Like, you can just ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> we were both getting pretty low. Guys, I had three copies of Approach of the Second Sun in the deck. All were in the bottom 20. All three were in the bottom 20. What we got, store? Pirates. I'm not worried about running out of resources. Uh, should I start my sealed? It's 8.30. I feel like we've given people enough time to join up. Let's do it. Let's play some sealed. Until October 15th, each entry includes a bonus full art basic land. Ooh. You'll receive six 14 card packs. Cards will be added to your collection. You'll use them plus basic lands to build a 40 card deck, play games, and receive prizes based on how many games you win. Let's do it. Say swamp. Nissa. 
I think right now I'm kind of feeling a jund direction. I didn't realize that there was a modal land that was either red or blue. That's, that's interesting. Huh. There's one for all 10 du dual colors. Sweet. Yeah, I'd only seen the spoilers that had a spell on the other side. Yeah, right now I'm feeling a jund direction. My god, that's a lot of text. <laughs> Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a loyalty counter on her. Untap target land you control. You may have- is it only like three or six of them? Six. The other four will probably be in the next one. Become a 3-3 three, three elemental creature with haste and menace. Huh. Creature card with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control onto the battlefield from your hand or graveyard with two plus one plus one counters on it. See, this is weird because it's kind of like Avenger of Zendikar, but it goes... Instead of going wide and then wide, it goes wide and then tall with the landfall. But I still think that's worth. Seems like it could be good too. Also, probably be looking for land type effects. Wow, just destroy target land for two mana. He's just like worse than Avenger of Zendikar. Which makes sense. I think Avenger of Zendikar was a mythic. Well, let me think about this then. Because if I don't use him. I could just try to do black green. Required by law to give them crap with a voice of resurgence. The ninja also looks pretty good. 
Dude, really? Oh. It's one of the strongest cards ever printed. Whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, or one voice of resurgence dies, put a green and white elemental creature token onto the battlefield, but this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. Oh my god. Are those supposed to be the original effect for Gates of Amaria? Gates Amara. Hmm. Dominating playtest groups. They not only moved it to Mythic, they buffed the card by removing the Legendary Clause, and signed it off as fine and balanced. Seems good. I'm wondering if I have self mill at all. Top ten most expensive cards all time during its standard legality. Wow. <laughs> the only white card to make that top ten. green car as well, but Oko changed that. Not surprised. I can't even get a full party. I'm not sure if I want to care about a full party, but... I don't seem to have any warriors in these colors. Jace the college fund. Um... 
mind sculptor, right? Those are all green, right? I don't seem to have any of those. I even have a green cleric. But yeah, I don't seem to have any warriors or things that serve as all warriors. You'd think there might be some black warriors too, but no. I think probably my best bet is ramp and then big creatures. Liars. seems good. Born vampire. It's a four three vanilla comic for four. Hmm. See, I was like, oh, maybe this card, but there's a chance that it does nothing, so. you take these broken wings I need to make sure that I have I need to make sure that I have um removal too, but... Hey! Uh, what's a face? It's, um... Oh god, the Dominaria card! What was the name of that? It 
It was, um... Oh, God, I can't remember it. Royal is older. Blink of an Eye, yes. Blink of an Eye was a functional re reprint of Into the Royal, perhaps. Stonework Pack Beast? I don't think so. Is it in. Yeah, I don't. Um, let me look at artifacts because I just realized that wasn't enabled. Ooh, I do have a Cliffhaven Kite Sail though. I have two. warrior. Boom. <laughs> Bit of irony on Seagate Colossus. It looks like it's made out of a uh, frickin' the things. That it's your warrior for party count? Yeah. It's also just a big creature, and I'm I'm looking at trying to get decently big creatures that I can then bring back. Do I have kicked spells, really? One, two, three, four, five. Five kick spells. I feel like that's not enough for these guys. And that brings me to 40. If I do have a veteran, it only ever counts as one for cards that counts your creatures in your party. Veteran? I might have also just finally removed all the things that cared about party. <laughs> Ironically. I think the last one was that reanimation spell.
like the idea of getting my stuff back. What can I say? Okay, so I think we're just gonna, we're gonna try to evade them, mainly. Thwart the grave, the card. Yeah, I just put that back in. Because even, even if... Even if I only have, like, two things, that's still, like, four mana to get two creatures back. Like, it's still good. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna... Yeah, the word and is very good. Six mana to get two creatures is a heckin' deal, and it can be even better. So I think, I think we're gonna go with this and see how it goes. I'm trying to do, um, especially given one of your bombs fits both sides of it. Yeah. Two of my bombs can. cast a ghastly and then a tadrew and then it kicked ghastly right oh no that's actually six Stingy with reach. Mm. New plan. Territorial Sky Cat on three. Because it gets bigger for every land I drop. Actually, I can do Tajiru and then cast this and then drop my land. That way it is small for less than a long time, which could be good because they have red. They could burn my stuff. Hey, look who it is. They don't have any, uh... They don't have any... Creatures in grave for me to get, though. Or permanents in grave for me to get. That's crazy. Look at this ninja. It's a spider, but with good types. Yeah, it's a rogue. Okay, so we're gonna do this first. Oh. Then put that out. And fly over the heads. Just on the retreat. Yeah. Yeah, see, one damage to any target. That's what I was worried about. So here's hoping they can't do double wizard, or double instant and wizard. Kicker needs to be an evergreen keyword. I think right now it's deciduous or whatever. They use it sometimes. Swing at me. Um, I'm gonna assume that they can't cast anything else. Still don't have 
anything for me to go get, which is annoying. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five. I think I just do another Tajiru snare caster. I don't want to put this out because it's going to immediately die. Yeah, I know he has flash. Oh, so you're saying I could flash him out to block this to kill this because this is annoying me. That is a good point, I suppose. party and stuff? see what we can do in the air. Relic Axe reminds you that you're never getting Bone Splinter again. Splinter. Oh. Two different cards, right? Yeah. Bone Splinter is the one where it's like sack and blah blah blah. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Guys, it's been real. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am probably gonna die. Um... Is there anything I can do here? I maybe should have kicked it so that that way uh, they couldn't just take it out from one. I haven't removed any of their stuff. Part of the problem with this draft was that I got almost no removal. And yeah, I got bombs, but <laughs> if you can't remove stuff, it becomes a problem. Quite possibly the worst format ever made. Woo, so harsh. Only 
swinging one thing. Interesting. You gonna do something now to kill the Gloom Hunter? That's a Hellion. I think I just die. I don't think there's anything I can do. I can't get anything from their grave. I can only put out one creature. I have lifelink, but I have one lifelink. that my bat can't block. No, I'm dead regardless. What are you talking about? I mean, he could mess up. We have to wait for him to mess up. That's basically what we're at. If he swings out, I'm dead. The play is wait for him to mess up. Wait for him to be scared of my big, scary 7-5. Guys, it didn't work. Guys, it didn't work. He didn't mess up. He styled on me instead. On the upside... Okay, let's try that again. He's got a permanent in the graveyard now, right? Ugh. Yeah, Zareth is really only good if he has permanents in the grave, which is like, I need to be able to remove things. And I don't really have removal. So he's less good than he looks. I might have to use him more as a flash surprise. What is this? What is this? No. Exactly, yeah, and that's how I needed to be using him. If I had used him as a surprise, hi, I'm a blocker, that would have been a lot better. I could have killed one of their things at least. Get rid of that. At least have two colors and a play. Was the ad side effect of putting a permanent in the graveyard. True. If he doesn't die immediately. I, I basically played that all wrong. Like, that could have gone differently and better if I had played properly, but I, I've messed up. <laughs> He's a 4-4, so, so he wins a lot of fights, yeah. Yeah, that was not, like, a, the deck screwed me or whatever. That was me not understanding the capabilities of the cards and, like, messing up. 
Also a game where my opponent got everything. Yes, but there was still a point in which I could have flashed out Zareth to kill something if I hadn't cast something else. I forget what I cast. Um, I'm gonna do this and that. I'm gonna try and fly over his head. Yeah, every card my opponent played was impactful, yeah. But that doesn't mean I couldn't have done better. I can't control what my opponent gets. I can control my own plays. Oh, don't do it again. Don't do it again. No! No! <sighs> More things for Nissa to get back if I get Nissa. Zareth with Nyssa to return a land for landfall? That is funny. Ooh. Look at them with their... with their thingamajig. You should swing both. That's my opinion. Dang it. Why would you swing both? I'm just gonna take the four. I'm gonna flash them out. Hold on, I'm mapping. <laughs> so let's assume that he does six, five, say that's two, and then he blocks that. Yeah, it's not, I'll leave the one blocker. like they gave up entirely too easy there, but sure. Also weird, I guess Seal doesn't rank, huh? It's not. Yeah, he might not have realized my dude was a 6-5. Perhaps not. But hey, we got our first win. Hmm. Got 
feeling some, uh, some plus one plus one counter synergy happening. Scoot Swarm? No. But the name rings a bell. Like Scoot Mob? I've seen that in Commander from time to time. It's a reference. Swarm is the most oh no card ever printed. Ooh, why couldn't I have gotten that card? That would have been great. It's a common, also. I have now missed two land drops. Hey, look, it's a thing I can kill. Three, four flyer seems like something I don't want out of. Ooh, I can give it menace, too. Potentially. Something to look forward to for another 12 months. Uh, I don't know. I did kind of control the skies that time. That was pretty good. Winota is a warrior. One thing important to note, um, the, the red-white enchantment makes human warrior, human cleric, blah blah blah. I'm assuming that was to make Winota not broken. Or more broken. <sighs> I can accept that. Dude, this territorial scythe cat is, like, in my hand all the time. You're more convinced they forgot the card existed? I maybe should have put out Tajir's Narrowcaster, actually, but that's okay. You can print synergies to get people to buy two mythics? Ooh. Save 
game said the enchantment had Grim Goalie, so it's actually to make an uncommon not viable. I suppose. I need to protect Nissa here. It's Robin Hood's band of merry men, so I think we can forgive them for a flavor over push. Yeah. This person right now is so pit. They're just like, how did they get Nissa in their sealed pool? Steady. out more bodies for an assault. Just give it reach, nobody will notice. Brave man, yeah. Well, we don't know. He might have stuff. Oof. Oof. He took my trample boy away.
may have been a mistake. So I just realized that's now online, and so is that. <laughs> that's exactly eight. Well, not anymore, because she's gonna die. But actually, if they do an all-out attack on her, I can just kill them. So yeah, she's not gonna die. That's an excellent point. next turn, yeah. I don't think I can get that back yet, though. I only have uh, six lands. Mathing. So here and here. Yeah, no, there's the trades would be too much. Negate is in this set, but Essence Scatter is not. Could get back Hagra Constrictor. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two things would get through. The two lowest things, it would be four. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a shot.
There was no forgetting. He made a good strategical play. Um. Question is, should I put the sky cat back out? Wait, why didn't this die? Hmm. Um, I must have been thinking of something else. Well, this is gonna die. I think I'm gonna flash out Living Tempest. Kidding, they didn't swing out at it, so I'm gonna save Nissa. I think you should swing at Nyssa to get your revenge. That's what I think. You should just swing out. <sighs> okay. Oh, worth the grave, though. Hmm, what should I get? Probably Expedition Diviner and then. See, Colossus? So go to my hand? No, go to the battlefield. expendable. Yep. They go to two, which seems good. Because they all three have menace. Unless they can bounce something to my hand again, which is possible. Good, you got you gotta block the skyclave shade or you're dead, man. They all have menace. <laughs> They're like, why can't I block?
Maybe they don't know how Menace works? Chris is to himself for 12 minutes, news at 11. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, perhaps not, but I mean, the symbol is there, so I don't know why he doesn't realize that. Can he bounce the other thing? Yeah, sure. No need for two. Go to one. And unless you can produce flying or reach, I think we're uh, good to go here. Well, the Hagra has been ruining his day. It was, it was not good. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. It was not good of him to uh, put it in my graveyard. So real talk, do I just get it back? <laughs> No, I don't even have to. I can just make another... They have nothing in hand. I just make another land and they're dead. Like they're at one. They have no lifelink. They have nothing of the sort. Yeah, no lifelink. Yeah, killing him works too! <laughs> Killing him works too. Hey guys, so, uh, Nissa, pretty good. Pretty good card. I, mean, I had fun in the match, I don't know if he did, but I had fun. It rapidly dawned on him, I can block again! But yeah, it didn't, didn't actually matter. I can tell you that their big mistake was not killing Nyssa. They only swung one flyer, and I happened to have the flash flyer to block with. They should have totally swung out at Nyssa um, to just make sure that it died. That was when they lost the game. This seems good. We'll keep. Nothing says fun and interactive like a bigger spore worm with menace. That sounds terrible. Not cast this yet, because it's cheaper if I just... This is like a better cobbled wings, I feel like. Well, I don't know, it's different. It's different, right? Um, we're gonna match your Skyclave Shade. Neither of us can block, so, you know. So are you guys excited for the uh, the tournament later? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Tajuru. Next turn, I can Territorial Scythe Cat and then Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Territorial sky side cat land the paving kite sale is my thought. T bone, it's okay. We remember. Um, I'll still let that through though.
remind them about the tourney. The love of God killed Rana. Go to two. Nope. Yep. We dead. 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 We super duper dead. Do 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 do. We super duper dead. Do do do. Super duper dead. <laughs> Cause that is trample. Yeah. There is nope. 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 I'm just like, is there any way I live? And I believe the answer is no. <laughs> uh Look, uh, it gets flying. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yeah, I have no way to survive. Zero way to survive. So... We could block like this and that, but I still... I still go to zero. See, unlike the first match where I actually, like, made a mistake and, you know, I'm, it maybe could have gone differently, that, there was no hope. That was just, they got their mythic, I lost. <laughs> Let's see if we can go positive. Imagine if they didn't wait for Soren to rotate out before printing Drana. Oh, I wonder if historic vampires will become a thing. They have some good Ixlon vampires. I actually have a, uh, a historic... Ooh, my voice got really weird. Uh, a historic, uh, vampires deck. This seems okay. We have a perfect visual for what goes into a secondary villain's head when the main character's hairstyle changes. Always remember to keep a smile. I'm glad that you enjoyed my song. <laughs> Super duper dead. Ooh. I think we're just gonna do the good one. Capture the internal struggle of many. <laughs> I 
I do believe Tajiru Snarecaster is the answer. Voted Legion Angel for worst rare of all time. Really? I, um. I saw. I mean, do you mean like in limited or overall? Because, um, there was chatter on Twitter about it being like a really good card for, um, constructed standard. By doing two and two. Oh boy. Oh boy. They just gained six life. I think that was six life. Cleric, warrior, wizard. They don't have a rogue. Being a worse squadron hawk is not a good place to be. Is forgetting why Squadron Hawk was even good. I'm not saying that that John Roberts can't be wrong, but like he did reach Mythic One like twice. <laughs> why was Squadron Hawk good? It thinned the deck, which got to your power plays better. Ah. to be fair, to 4 3 flyer 4, but that's just, oh neat, I have good stats because I'm a rare. I'm in a weird spot right now. Because I want to use my mana the most efficiently I can. Dude, I feel like I'm stuck. I can't swing because then they'll put a plus one plus one counter on this. <sighs> okay. It's all right. Do 
Yeah, I guess the idea was just being able to fetch another 4-4 flyer. Or 4-3 flyer, I should say. I think that's why they like it. Right. Um, I think the play is Living Tempest. Actually, no, Living Tempest because of the flash surprise. Because then if they swing their flyers, because I only have one reach creature and one little thing that'll die, I can block the Legion Angel with Living Tempest, and then the next turn, I can Broken Wings. That's fine. The next turn, I can Broken Wings, the other one, and then I can start swinging in the air with my Ghastly Goom Hunter and Expedition Diviner. So I think that's the play. Bait them into an attack. That'll do. And we just have to hope there's no plus one plus one counter shenanigans. Which there very well could be, but this is the only way we break through. are pretty low. And even if it does happen, I shouldn't be dead, so... I was noting that Legion Angel is also a warrior, so there is a little bit of risk because of Corp Blade Master, if they have an equipment in their hand. But... I feel like the risk of that is pretty low. And next turn we can put out Expedition Diviner to start, you know, getting some blocking power out there. because it's a warrior, since warriors have a very good lord right now, yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. How do 
I feel about Penalia Marshall. What is this? What is this? What is this garbage? What is this? Well, I'm not dead. Pretty freaking close, though. Um, let's see here. We're going to block this way. And this way. And this way. I'm assuming they put it on the flyer. or anything. I guess he didn't do the math before doing that? Huh. I thought for sure I was going to lose that game. You will have 2020 because I now have the highest life total. But he did, so it's fine. Forgot the lifelink. Yeah. Alright. Well, we're guaranteed to go positive. That's nice. That was weird. That was like he was so excited about that card. That he did not do the math. Cookie. Possibly cookie. I'm gonna mulligan. Because I know if I don't mulligan, I'm not gonna draw any lands. And I can't cast anything in this hand. anything in this hand either, but I kind of did not want to uh, mulligan them again. You've got good news and bad news. You can cast something in this hand, but you don't want to. It is true. I'm going to pretend like I'm a control deck and like leave up blue mana. Gate Colossus, like <laughs> I scared him into missing an attack. Just like, what does this person have? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh my god. At this 
rate I want get there. Well, I missed my first land drop. The game was like, oh, you think I'm gonna screw you? I'll show you a screw. Oh my god, it's a freaking guard. Can I kick it? Thank god. Counter? Yeah, that's why I said, oh my god. But, into the royal? Nope, yeah, regardless. Notice, still no. Oh, oh, no, no, my next, my next land, my next draw was going to be a tapped green land. All right, well, that, that was a game that occurred. That was a game that happened. I cast exactly one spell. So, we went four and three, we still went positive. Yeah, I guess I should have mulliganed to five on that one. That was, uh... That was bad. Hearthstone win. I, you know, T-Bone's been talking about wanting to play Hearthstone more. I just, I, I do not like it. I don't like it. As much as I hate getting mana screwed or color screwed or, or mana flooded or whatever, I hate the aspects of Hearthstone more. <laughs> magic, princess set where every card is mana, also magic, still land screws. Well, because I color screwed, yeah. And I was like, oh, most of the lands in the deck are forests. Like, I have more forests than any other land. What are the odds I'm not going to get a forest the entire game? Whenever you ask that, it's like 99.9%. <laughs> Kitty cats. Huh. <sighs> They did release the Book of Jaina, which is a narrative you may enjoy. It's also free. Leyline Tyrant, you don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases end. When it dies, you may pay any amount of red, and when you do, it deals that much damage to any target. Hmm. Seems cool. Ooh, another Archpriest of Iona. I already have one. They want to do a series of 10 single-player campaigns that explore the iconic heroes and their backstory. Kitty cats. The kitty cats. Cataroos. So the question is... 10.08. Do I also do a draft? I have a draft token, so I can. Eh, we have time. We have time. And if this stream butts up right against the Smash tournament, all the better, right? Ooh, look at the pretty planes I got. Clean fries. Good morning, Miss Lacane. Oh, you're joining at the perfect time. We are just starting a new draft. Green screen. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, T-Bone set this up. It's not actually a green screen, like literally, but yeah, it gets rid of the background. Oh, wait. I wasn't the last person, so it's fine. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Confounding Conundrum. There's the battlefield, draw a card, and we land under the battlefield and our opponent's control. Oh! Seems interesting. Well, I guess I'm gonna take the rare. That seems really good against ramp. What a rare should look like, but it mostly just cycles itself and ruins Fabled Passage. Hmm. I 
I mean, you could always activate Fabled Passage the next turn, and it would still work. Well, we're not committed to blue in any way, shape, or form, but I wasn't super liking any of those cards, so I was like, ooh, what's this? I feel like that's only good with like a very specific combo card. Do the relic golem. That way I'm not committed to any particular color. I'm gonna print a card with an intention to counter a deck. You might not want to put it in that deck's colors. That seems good. I like sweepers. I like sweepers. Pyroclasm? It's a totally okay card. I felt like the cost was a little bit high. It is also very red. yet. It's possible we could do some kind of warrior thing. Ooh. seem to be going a little bit red. My second color could be green, perhaps? Oh, yeah. 
think it'll kind of depend on what uh, pack two looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you know what? No, we'll take that. We'll take the creature. Take the creature. Yeah, I like that this is at instant speed. Got some warrior-ness going on. Well, I mean, yes. Even if I don't end up using it through the rare draft alone, um, now I have two Nisses. I could like build a Nissa standard deck. Now I have to think do I want to go like Jund? That seems very good. I think I might at least go red-green. I feel like I'm more likely to get a full party if I have two colors. And this guy can count as anything, which is sort of nice. I mean, I could do red, green, and even splash black to have Nyssa. She's only one black. again. Take these broken wings. I'll do a sizzling barrage.
really like any of these. Um, maybe that we're drawing a card drawing cards is usually good hey guess what we're splashing black so that seems good um players to draft pass a draft pack To finish pairing, press and hold the play button on your remote for five seconds. I couldn't find a remote to pair. For help, go to your Alexa app. What? What? <laughs> uh, Alexa freaking out over here. So, I'm, I'm liking this red-green with a splash of black happening. Oh wait, did I get all of them? Ooh, I actually drafted very on, on colors. I guess let's let's see what we've got here. I have a lot of stuff. Huh. I only have one cleric? How is that possible? I thought I had uh I thought I had this guy and the uh, also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. Plus um 
plus this guy, cleric, warrior, and wizard. Oh, they must not count those. I must have one thing that says cleric in the line. Hmm. I feel like that's, I don't know. Yeah, I must have thing that's like a cleric regularly. Not sure which one it would be. Just looking to kind of confirm how this works here. Yes, I have one cleric regularly. All right, that's kind of a cool art. I like this art. The, the like reindeer with all the flowers on the horns, that's kind of cool. Um, all right, so cleric, rogue, Tons of warriors and four wizards. But I know I have some warrior tribal things. This says for each creature in your party. I'm wondering if I drop the equipments because it's not like I'm running a Kiri. I think this is the only thing I have that cares about warriors. So I'm gonna drop the equipments. Drop Relic Golem. Drop the Rasa Brute. We don't really need him. Vigilance is not bad at all. And look at this Zagras dude. 4-4 four, four with flying, death touch, and haste. Costs one last to cast for each creature in your party, BT dubs. Other creatures you control have death touch. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player or to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. That's that's some nice that's some nice stuff. That's some nice stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. I still have to drop 11 cards? Okay, uh... I think we chip away at the number of warriors. I dropped all the equipments. be good and limited. god i'm bad at this <laughs> i just went through the whole thing i'm like these are all good cards Ugh. okay um
I mean, this is automatically a 2-2 two -two when it attacks with Trample. And it can be even bigger. I'm going to drop one of them. drop one of these because honestly I do not have very many wizard spells and I don't have very many instants and sorceries either I'll drop both I still have wizards just they're different I think I have two wizards left this one and then there's a little one that draws a card the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it so bare minimum it comes in with one because I have three colors of mana it could come in with three plus one plus one counters that's a little nutty it's a little nutty bare minimum it's a three four for five very likely it's a four five for five and I have a possibility of having it be a five six for five That's pretty good. I'm gonna drop the Tajiro Blight Blade. I'm gonna kind of assume that my early plays are gonna be red. Fissure Wizard, you know. Dude, it like, it, it practically says complete your party with Adventure Awaits. Do I really drop that? I don't know. I drop one more thing. One more. One more thing. <coughs> oh my god, don't die. Okay. I 
let's go. We're going to have... Stop listening. Frickin', frickin' robots. Um, I guess I'll have Zagras be the art, I don't know. Let's give this a shot! Up against Dashing Jimmy. This looks okay. We can get red through Roiling Regrowth, so... I think we can make that happen. And I'm going to sacrifice a forest and get a mountain and a swamp. Then I should have two of each. I did. I did indeed. We will protect my home. I got Nissa and sealed, and now I have Nissa in draft. you got. Oh. Yep, it is indeed a Lotus Cobra. that is getting bigger.
This is probably not going to work, but we're still going to try. Yep. Uh, doesn't work. Bye bye, Nissa. Unfortunately, it is not enough to kick that as well, so. Um, I guess leave up a blocker. like totally dead but um yeah because i did not get my reach creatures so that is what we call a jeej by this one card. This card. That is a that is a pretty good card there. This set has wrath and jury is out on whether it's the best wrath or the worst wrath. Oh my god. Okay. As long as I don't lose every game in this draft to this card, I think I'll be okay. But like, come on. swinging the other one at least.
crud. That is bad. Well, I'm gonna cast Seeking Colossus. I'm gonna swing with my vigilant creature, and we're gonna try not to die. Definitely that one. Can't cast it this turn. But, you know, in the future. There's no double strike at instant speed. Wait. right now. But, to be fair, I didn't know he was not going to put out any blockers. Yeah, that's the hope. They could have a counter spell here, but even if they do, the hope is that I could then uh, block with Tajiru, survive, and then the mall itself. Oh.
think we're still good because of haste. Yeah, yeah. Granted, I got lucky with my top deck, but. Full swing wasn't always lethal. So we're at one and one. Closer. Uh oh. <laughs> um, the draft uh, is not almost done. It is. I have won one and lost one. paused and picked up later, which I can stop after this match. That's one, two, three, four, five, how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not quite enough. I have mana snack. It is true. And I got Zagras out on turn four, which is, you know, good. Could have wiped their board there, but or actually no, I couldn't. I didn't have enough mana. Oh, <gasps> I saw. Well, now I can definitely wipe the board. Actually, I can't because I have the puzzle puzzle counter now. That's okay. So. Glad they waited for Pestilent Spirit to rotate before printing Cinderclasm, because that would have been a combo Grixis Control needed. And we're gonna do this, and we're gonna kick it. And we're gonna get this and that. And they get plus one plus one counters, and the opponent cries. This is not instant speed. Oh! 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 Oh, but they're still dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, opponent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That must have been so awful. They're like, yes, I survived at one. Nope. Let me just top deck this mythic. 
Oh, all right. So I am going to go ahead and stop here because it is just about 11. Letters throws a rock at it. Um, we're at two and one. You'll have to tune back in tomorrow to see how this draft continues. Um, I'll be streaming again at 8 a.m. Pacific to do the, uh, the magic thing. Um, so, yeah, I won't raid or anything since we're going to be back live in just a little over an hour. At noon, the Smash tournament happens, so go get your lunches and, and then come on back for some good old Smash fun times. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and please be sure to stay safe. Later.